Section one of Tortoises. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Amy Graymore. Tortoises by D. H. Lawrence. Baby Tortoise. You know what it is to be born alone, baby tortoise. The first day to heave your feet little by little from the shell, not yet awake, and remain lapsed on earth not quite alive, a tiny, fragile, half-animate bean. To open your tiny beak-mouth that looks as if it would never open, like some iron door, to lift the upper hawk-beak from the lower base, and reach your skinny little neck, and take your first bite at some dim bit of herbage, a lone, small insect, tiny bright eye, slow one, to take your first solitary bite and move on your slow solitary hunt your bright dark little eye your eye of a dark disturbed night under its slow lid tiny baby tortoise so indomitable no one ever heard you complain you draw your head forward slowly from your little wimple and set forward slow dragging on your four pinned toes rowing slowly forward whither away small bird rather like a baby working its limbs except that you make slow ageless progress and a baby makes none the touch of sun excites you and the long ages and the lingering chill make you pause to yawn opening your impervious mouth suddenly beak-shaped and very wide like some suddenly gaping pinchers soft red tongue and hard thin gums then close the wedge of your little mountain front your face baby tortoise do you wonder at the world as slowly you turn your head in its wimple and look with laconic black eyes or is sleep coming over you again the non-life you are so hard to wake are you able to wonder or is it just your indomitable will and pride of the first life looking round and slowly pitching itself against the inertia which had seemed invincible the vast inanimate and the fine brilliance of your so tiny eye challenger nay tiny shellbird what a huge vast inanimate it is that you must row against what an incalculable inertia challenger little ulysses forerunner no bigger than my thumbnail buon viaggio all animate creation on your shoulder set forth little titan under your battle shield the ponderous preponderate inanimate universe and you are slowly moving pioneer you alone how vivid your travelling seems now in the troubled sunshine stoic Ulyssian Adam, suddenly hasty, reckless, on high toes. Voiceless little bird, resting your head half out of your wimple, in the slow dignity of your eternal pause, alone with no sense of being alone, and hence six times more solitary, fulfilled of the slow passion of pitching through immemorial ages, your little round house in the mist of chaos over the garden earth small bird over the edge of all things traveller with your tail tucked a little on one side like a gentleman in a long skirted coat all life carried on your shoulder invincible forerunner end of baby tortoise